Welcome back to the Botanist Garden Club. I'm Pam. And I'm Wendy. And we're here today to talk about the best sellers, top mm -hmm. sellers. At top it. sellers at Botanist. This is a inside secret that's not a secret actually anymore. <laughs> we, we often feature our top sellers and in fact you can see them on our website. We have a separate category for these items and they are really ones that are popular with gardeners. They are. And you know we think why are they popular? What is it about them that makes them such a great seller? And every year it varies doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's things that are in and sometimes there are things that are out. Yeah. But we always notice that there's something kind of unique and special about each one. Exactly. When they enter on that sort of list. Yeah, it could be something like it might be super fragrant or mm -hmm. it has a spectacular flower or uh, I don't know, it's something that's really cool in the shade. But the bottom line is all of these tend to be very easy to grow and obviously give gardeners great satisfaction because they keep exactly. coming back for more and more. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to kind of feature a few of them just so you would know what it is that about them that's so special. Mm -hmm. The first one I love, love, love is Acidanthra mm -hmm. by Color Muralion. Yes. Now yeah. I know that's been your favorite for many oh, years. Yeah. I talk about it a lot. <laughs> I do too. And I, I try to push it on so many people and I and I really hope that if you haven't grown these that you really do try them. You are not going to be disappointed. Oh, not at all. I think what I love best is that they're very sort of architectural. Mm -hmm. They come up tall, they're very streamlined, and then really late in the season they produce this flower. And I was saying to Pam earlier, that flower, the first time I saw it, really knocked my socks off. Because you see a picture of it by itself, mm -hmm. and it's gorgeous, but you don't know how big it is. And then you get this flower and it's about like that size, yeah. if not larger. Yeah. And boy, oh boy, mm -hmm. as you have often said, it's like baby powder mm -hmm. and suntan lotion mm -hmm. combined, the fragrance. Yeah. And it may sound weird, but it actually smells fantastic. It really does. It's, it's not an overpowering no. scent. It's a very light, light scent. And the thing is, we often sell them in large uh, package mm -hmm. quantities, about 25. They're, they're relatively inexpensive, and you get such a bang for your buck, or a blooms for your <laughs> buck, because there's so many flowers produced. It's yes. not just one flower no. per stem. There's multiple blooms, and they sort of come one after another. Exactly. But an interesting thing about this particular type of plant is it blooms so late in the season and that is a terrific selling point. It is. And I would totally recommend taking the whole bag mm -hmm. and doing them in a container. Yeah. Planting them in a container gives you so much freedom. So say you're having a dinner party one night late in early in September. Mm -hmm. You take that container and you place it right next to the table and the fragrance will just sort of fill the sort of outdoor room. Right. And then if you want, if someone's a little bit, uh, you know, doesn't like the fragrance, mm -hmm. well then you move it to a little further away mm -hmm. but having them a container makes that such an easy thing to do right. and then when the season is done and they're all finished and you know the cold is coming take that whole container and just move it to an area that is cold and dark and it spends the winter only to come mm -hmm. out the next spring exactly brilliant yeah absolutely brilliant so it's easy. a very versatile flower so as I said if you haven't gotten any yet please do get some you are going to love them. Top seller for a reason, yes, for sure. That's right. Now the next one is a really cool looking flower and it recently got onto the top seller list. It's called Iris Siberica Strawberry Fair. Exactly, party in a flower party if we do flower. say so ourselves. <laughs> <Woo> <laughs> the ruffled edges, the mm -hmm. color, yeah. and this one again has a similar sort of feature to the Acidanthra mm -hmm. in that it comes up on a single stem. Right. So it's very structural, very sort of architectural looking with this beautiful little bouquet mm -hmm. on the end. It's such an intricate, cool mm -hmm. looking bloom. There's little purple striations on the white. It's just, it's really amazing it with is. those ruffled edges. And it's, an, it's a Siberian iris, so it's relatively hardy. It's hard to a zone four. Mm -hmm. It likes a full sun to And it'll partial. take part shade actually. Yeah. I've got it in my garden in a part shade area and it does really well. It's mm -hmm. sort of on the fringe of the shady area. Right. So it gets a little bit of sun but you can just leave it. It comes mm -hmm. back year after year. It naturalizes in our gardens. Yes. In the, and I think it's a four to eight. Yes, four to mm -hmm. eight. And the great thing too is it's deer resistant. Those <laughs> I don't people, have that problem but lots well, do. Yeah, lots of people mm -hmm. do. So if you have that deer issue, uh, you know, you might want to consider planting this particular one and it's a perennial comeback. Mm -hmm. year after year you know great cut flower yes and a great yeah, cut flower really beautiful and a yeah so it's not surprising it made it to the top seller list exactly we were not <laughs> surprised at all now gypsophila paniculata is another one that we're not surprised made the top yeah now list. that's a mouthful it is gypsophila paniculata <laughs> otherwise, known as, known as otherwise known as baby's breath right baby's breath and but if you want to oppress your friends you can use the latin name that will kind of blow them away yeah <laughs> it sort of does re resemble baby's breath it's like a little poof of white in your garden yeah but there's a whole bunch of little poofs on the branches yeah and how beautiful is that mm -hmm. and the more you cut it 
the more it grows and exactly. produces flowers. How I, great is that? Yeah, so you trim off, you deadhead those those mm -hmm. uh, spent little tiny blooms, and you will get more. It's kind of like dahlias, same thing. Yes. If you cut them, you'll, they'll produce more. And of course, everybody knows them from flower bouquets. And of course, Elka is always saying, please, 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 don't put too much baby's use breath. Use sparingly. Yes, use sparingly is much better. Uh, it just looks, it gives a bouquet a much loftier, totally. uh, airy look, as opposed to really being packed in there. But it's a great flower because it blooms early, mid, and late. Exactly. Like it goes forever. Plus drought resistant. So in zones three to nine, that is a huge benefit. All of our zones actually. It's good in the full sun, mm -hmm. which means sometimes we might forget to water it. Right. And if you do, no, not the first year, give this baby lots of uh, mm -hmm. water the first season, but you know that it's going to survive if it doesn't get, you know, watering sort of one yeah. week. Yeah. And that's a real bonus in mm -hmm. the, nowadays. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Now, the next one is a favorite of mine in, in terms of plant plants in general is the asters. And this one is yeah. called Crimson Brocade. Oh, the blooms are just the most beautiful dark red, dark pink. Yes, with lots, color, of, pe lots, lots of little lots tiny of petals. petals. Again, this is a late bloomer. This mm -hmm. is one that's blooming in the autumn. And anyone who wants to enjoy their garden for the full season, from early spring all the way through to the end of September, beginning of it's October, the way to go. it's the way to go. Plus, it's a bee magnet. Mm -hmm. And I know that we're super conscious about this. Yeah. If you want to have something to attract the bees all season long, mm -hmm. then you plan your garden. So you have some right. things for them to have for food in the very beginning, mm -hmm and in the middle and right. now towards the end and this little bee magnet mm -hmm. will do that and as a beekeeper i can tell mm -hmm. you the bees are looking for food in the fall especially yeah. if we've had a very hot summer which has been happening in some parts of the country a lot of flowers are spent really really early and the bees have to forage even further to find yes. food so if you can provide late bloomers in your garden that are bee friendly you are doing not only your garden a great thing but you're doing the bees a great thing they yes. will love you for it and that's zone four to eight so that means a lot of us can grow it mm -hmm. which is really and good and it makes this beautiful mound yeah. i love that too it's kind of its own sort of Topiary. It's it's it it's is. beautifully shaped, absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I I just love them. Put them in the front of your garden, and uh, people will just. It's a great sort of, you know, stop and look kind mm -hmm. of plant. And I have never cut mine back. I mean, I take little flowers once in a while and put them in a tiny little jar that I've got. But when I finish up with those asters, I leave them in the garden to completely die back mm -hmm. and go brown. And they mm -hmm. produce that lovely little sort of delicate seed head that the birds love to go to in the, the uh, winter time. Mm -hmm. And it looks nice. You don't yeah. have to cut it right back to the yeah. ground. It eventually falls back and sort of mulches itself, which mm -hmm. I love. Well, our mm -hmm. final top seller that we want to feature today and tell you all about is one, again, that made it to the list actually just this year, and it's called Kaveri, and it's an oriental Asiatic lily, the only oriental Asiatic that we carry. That's right. I think it was almost the first one on the market, mm -hmm. and it is so beautiful. So they combined, combined all the best features of the Asiatic and mm -hmm. the oriental. Mm -hmm. We love the oriental for the fragrance yes. and for the beautiful, light, delicate petals. Mm -hmm. But then that uh, Asiatic, those are striking colors with those mm -hmm. very, very mm -hmm. heavy sort of waxy petals. You get that combination together with mm -hmm. the fragrance yeah. and wow, mm -hmm. yellow, reddy, orange, mm -hmm. it, yeah. it, it packs a punch. It really does. And when you consider that you get seven flowers on average per stem, this is a real flower factory that's going to be blooming, you know, midsummer for you and mm -hmm. you can use it as a cut flower, you can enjoy it in the garden. It's just a stunning bloom and again, new to the list. So obviously it's new to the market and very, very popular. And it likes a full sun position and it's three to five, speaking of little bumble, little bees, <laughs> three to five with mulch and six to eight hardy. And that is just a wonderful, easy to grow plant for mostly all of us across the country. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well, we hope that we have whet your appetite for all things popular. And again, as we mentioned at the beginning of the segment, if you're looking for the Botanist Top Sellers, you just need to go to our website and have a look. There is a category just for those, and there's many more than yeah. more than what we've talked about <laughs> we've just today. Just featured a few, which right? Is good. And of course, if you're a regular viewer of the Botanist Garden Club, you know what's coming next. It's our giveaway draw. We always ask a question, ask. You you to email us the answer and then we do a draw and give away some prizes. Now this week's question is Wendy. It is what is the common name for Gypsophila pendiculata? 
So send the answer to that to gardenclub at botanist.com and we're going to draw three lucky winners right. and they'll get $10 gift certificates or gift cards yes. each. Yes. I think that's pretty fantastic. It Maybe is. buy yourself a top seller. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you could buy yourself a top seller with that $10 gift card. Well, thank you very much for tuning in yet once again to the Botanist Garden Club. We certainly have a good time doing these segments. We do every time. <laughs> Can't help ourselves. <laughs> and we appreciate all the emails and uh, Facebook postings oh, that yeah. we get. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you again next week in the Botanist Garden Club. Until then, have a great week. Bye for now.